dim veils and shadowy floods and cloudy looking woods whose forms we can't discover for the tears that drip all over. Huge moons there wax and wane again, 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 every moment of the night forever changing places. And they put out the starlight with the breath from their pale faces. About twelve by the moon dial, one more filmy than the rest, a kind which upon trial they are found to be the best, comes down, still down and down, with its center on the crown of a mountain's eminence. While its wide circumference in easy drapery falls over hamlets, over halls, wherever they may be. Over the strange woods, over the sea, over spirits on the wing, over every drowsy thing, and buries them up quite in a labyrinth of light. And then how deep, oh deep, is the passion of their sleep. In the morning they arise, and their moony covering is soaring in the skies, with the tempests as they toss, like Almost anything. Or a yellow albatross. They use that moon no more for the same end as before. They delicate a tent, which I think extravagant. Its atomies, however, into a shower to sever, of which those butterflies of earth who seek the skies and so come down again, never contented things, have brought a specimen upon their quivering wings.